In Georgia, it has become a common practice to take some valuables in pawn shops to get some money in return. The reasons range from renovating apartments, buying new hi-fi systems for the car, as well as repaying 1,000 lorries that an 18-year-old son had lost in gambling. Now, if you're someone who has never used this service, hold up your breath before you hear this. According to Georgian National Statistics Office, 682,000 people borrowed money from pawn shops just in 2013. And the rate which people took this money averaged 54.1%. This means that more than 15% of Georgian population is pawning property in exchange for money. You may ask, why would anyone bring their family silver, grandma's old golden necklace, or just their cell phones and cars to a pawn shop for getting credit at extortionary interest rates? Could the reason be a lack of competition between pawn shops? Rather not, as there are 1,031 pawn shops registered in Georgia, while there are only 21 commercial banks and 69 microcredit institutions. To understand the apparent riddle, one has to understand the state of mind of a typical pawn shop customer. Usually, there are two types of pawners. First, there are desperate people in dire need of money, not thinking too much about what they'll have to pay back later. The second type of borrowers are so-called financial vagabonds. Buying a new hi-fi system for the car with a 50% interest loan reveals a complete ignorance of the future. The behavior of drug addicts and financial vagabonds is very similar in this respect. The addict yearns for the drug and the financial vagabond is fixated on consumption, while both forget about the future. Yet while the government tries to suppress the drug market and offers medical assistance to addicts, there is little regulation in the pawn shop business. Now, how should one regulate such business? To understand this, how about we take a look at the history? For instance, under Roman law, some 2000 years ago, it was not allowed to pawn furniture or farming equipment. Being aware of an addictive character of pawn shop borrowing, the Roman authorities wanted to prevent a borrower from pawning away their economic basis. Moreover, the interest rate was kept at 3%. Now, if we look at situation in Georgia, the total credits by Georgian pawn shops in just 2013 amounted to 310 million Georgian lares, while consumer credits handed out by commercial banks total to about 560 million Georgian lares. In the end, there is no question that pawn shops are an important component of household borrowing in Georgia. And because of the very fact that pawn broking is so significant for Georgian society, at least some modern versions of the Roman regulations should be enacted, unless the problem becomes worse than drug addiction, if it's not already.